Hello wrestling fans, in this video we're going to be ranking every single model of Drew McIntyre in WWE games. Each model of McIntyre will be ranked into one of five tiers, those being Chosen One, which means it's the best, Good, Indifferent, Bad and Broken Dreams, which means it's the worst. For the purpose of this video, our ranking will mainly be focused on the head and face of each model, as those are the most important parts, but we'll also take into consideration the body and attire, for attention to detail. We're going to go through each model in order of Drew's appearance in a WWE game, so let's start with SmackDown vs Raw 2011. So here is Drew McIntyre's first appearance in a WWE game, and THQ have given us a cracking start with this model. First of all, the face is extremely accurate, and for the most part that is going to be key to our ranking, as much like when we ranked Cody Rhodes, McIntyre's attires haven't changed that much over the years. McIntyre's face is well shaped, and every feature is in proportion. The hair looks good too, in both texture and colour. Also notice the attention to detail with the fallen strands of McIntyre's hair, it's a nice catch. As for the body, it's incredibly hard to fault, it's just as impressive as the face, and although the attire is basic, the simplicity of the textures and materials complement the model nicely, so for SVR 2011, it deserves a solid Claymore kick into Chosen One. Thank you. WWE All Stars of course, with All-Stars, we have an attempt of an OTT look of Drew McIntyre, and it's worth pointing out that THQ didn't really have much to work with. At this stage of McIntyre's career, he didn't have any sort of elaborate attire, or key features, so it's difficult to make him appear larger than life, which is what All-Stars is all about. With such limitations, I still think THQ have done a decent job, the face isn't perfect, but it does capture the look of McIntyre, with all other parts being well put together. The hair is decent, the body is jacked, but I actually like how it looks, and there's some nice little details with the attire, with the boots having a leathery texture, and the trunks and knee pads appearing to use a different material. My one concern would be, if you strip the attire and hair away, looking at the face alone, could you instantly tell that it's Drew McIntyre? I'm not entirely sure but I still like this model, and I'm going to rank WWE All-Stars as good. WWE 12 In some of our previous rankings, I have noted a shift in style with the models when moving from the SVR series to WWE 12. One of my biggest gripes with the models in WWE 12 is usually that they appear oversaturated, and everything seems too much, but I wouldn't say that has happened with Drew McIntyre. The face is just as impressive as SVR 2011, with a few small updates, some stubble around the mouth, and a little more texture all around, but not too much. The body type is good, maybe even great, and it tends to have more of a shine than 2011, but that isn't a bad thing, and the attire textures are really good too. What makes or breaks this model is the updated hair, trying to reflect McIntyre's updated look, and it's just okay. Highlights and long hair have never been a strong point in WWE games, and I think for WWE 12, it comes up short once again, as the colour isn't quite right, and with the addition of the blonde, the smooth hair we saw in 2011 looks more wiry. I don't think the hair is necessarily bad, but it isn't great either. It's borderline good, but it does put a dent in the model overall, which could have been a chosen one but instead, it's just good. WWE 13 A return to a standard look for McIntyre in WWE 13, and it's very much like the SVR 2011 model. It's very difficult to find anything that significant, so much so I can only pick out the new trunks and skin texture being more tanned as major updates. Everything else still holds the same opinion of the model from SVR 2011, so we find ourselves with another chosen one. WWE 2K14 2K14 was Drew McIntyre's final appearance before taking a hiatus from WWE games. The three-man band gimmick might be very questionable, but McIntyre's model is certainly not. 
2 Visual Concepts kept all the good bits from 13, whilst adding updates to the model for McIntyre's Rockstar Band Persona. The entrance attire has far more parts than any other model we've seen so far. The hat, the bandana and glasses all fit. We also have these brand spanking new shiny pants for the ring attire. Every new part makes good use of materials. The pants have a shine, the hat looks like leather and the bandana is a base material. McIntyre's face also has some updates. Mascara around the eyes and a slightly fuller beard. With the base model being so good and the updated attire adding to the model and taking nothing away, WWE 2K14 joins SVR 2011 and WWE 13 in Chosen One. WWE 2K18 Drew McIntyre returns in WWE 2K18 and we've come a long way from his model in 2K14. Obviously the graphical improvements from last gen to at the time next gen consoles being PS4 and Xbox One create a dramatic difference. These models certainly appear more lifelike, but there's something about the face that does throw me off. At first I thought it was the mouth and it being a little pouty, then I thought it was the head shape, the lower section seems to stick out too much, or it could just be the overall expression. Maybe a combination of all three. The body is very good and now has additional body hair and the attire makes good use of materials which is noticeable across all parts. The updated hair and beard are good too but I can't get away from not liking something with the face. I'm sure many of you will see this model as a chosen one but I kind of prefer what we've ranked before it. So I'm going to rank 2K18 as good. WWE 2K19 Besides perhaps lightening up the skin tone, this is pretty much the same model of McIntyre from 2K18 and the face hasn't budged at all. No subtle improvements as far as I can see and if anything it's the arena lighting that makes the smallest difference as opposed to the model receiving an update. With no improvements, 2K19 hops in with 2K18 being ranked in good. WWE 2K20 Now this is certainly the Scottish psychopath, I will give 2K20 that. There are a few updates to the model which aren't exactly good and visually everything seems to have taken a hit. McIntyre's hair has made an attempt at being more loose, with some natural strands falling down, but the outcome of this update appears totally unnatural and those strands just become annoying. The colour of the hair is overly dark and that goes the same for the beard. In fact the entire model has this treatment. Everything's just a bit intense. Where you see this intensity the most is in McIntyre's psychotic eyes. Drew is of course an intense competitor but the model's intensity is in all the wrong places. The best part about this model is the attire. Textures and materials are actually really well done but everything else is a downgrade. I could be kind and rank this one as indifferent, but I don't like the model. So I'm going to drop it down even further and dump 2K20 in bad. Slaughtering. WWE 2K Battlegrounds. Much like WWE All-Stars, we all know 2K Battlegrounds has a certain style, making a caricature or toy-like figure out of a WWE superstar. But I have to say, taking all what I just said into account, I think this model is more accurate than 2K20. I think this model is really good. The hair and beard are textured and they look great and the face has a ton more detail than what we just saw. McIntyre's body looks jacked with strong definition and body hair which is nicely done. Nothing really looks plonked on or stands out as being not quite right. It all fits together. The same can be said about the attire even though the odd part isn't 100% accurate like the knee pads. Considering the style and Battlegrounds isn't trying to be completely accurate, this is a really impressive model and I think it's better than good. No doubt I'm going to spark outrage in the comments right now and it's going to shock some people with my decision, but 2K Battlegrounds for me is a chosen one. Weird one, yeah? WWE 2K22 
A really interesting one to close off our ranking of Drew McIntyre, and I suspect many will feel this model is a chosen one, and for the most part, I would agree. It is of course a huge step forward from 2K20, and this without a doubt looks like Drew. The body is arguably the best body type we've seen for McIntyre across all the games we have ranked. It has incredible definition and attention to detail. The same can be said for the attire. It has plenty of textures being used across all parts, from the entrance attire to the in-ring attire. This can be clearly seen with the materials used for McIntyre's kilt. Where things get more interesting and become more debatable is with the head shape and face of this model. It does look like McIntyre, I don't dispute that, but the head shape, or maybe it's the hairline, tends to throw the model off from certain viewpoints. The way I see it is if you catch the model from one angle, everything looks great, it's the best model. Catch it from another angle and the face looks a little iffy. It doesn't look bad, it doesn't look indifferent. Even when it does become iffy, it still looks good. But it does add pause for thought before dropping it straight into Chosen One. It's clearly a good model of Drew, but can I get over the issue that I have when at certain times he does look a bit iffy? After watching the entrance back and the winning sequence, time after time, I've come to the conclusion that most of my issues around the face only happen during the entrance, and watching the winning sequence, I found myself thinking it's very hard to fault this model of Drew. So WWE 2K22 completes our ranking, becoming another and our final chosen one. So there you have it. That was every model of Drew McIntyre in WWE games ranked. Out of 10 models, we have five as chosen ones, four ranked as good, one ended up in bad, and none of the models made it into indifferent or our worst here, causing some broken dreams. I'm always down for a Claymore party, so that was honestly just fun. If you enjoyed this ranking, make sure you drop a like on the video and let us know how you'd rank these models in the comments below. But for now, thanks for watching.